Well, here are some really cool computer tricks to save your energy and data. Hey, we've all been there. You're typing up some text when, all of a sudden, you see a bunch of mumbo-jumbo pop up on the screen. Or maybe you save a link to read a certain website later on, only to discover that it's nowhere to be found. Or even worse, you're pulling an all-nighter on an essay, and your computer unexpectedly dies before you had a chance to save your work. Uh-huh. If you've ever been in situations like these, we know the frustration they can evoke. That's why we're bringing you some quick and easy computer tips that'll save your time, energy, data, and, let's be honest, nerves. Oh, by the way, have you subscribed to our channel yet? We've got all kinds of amazing videos right here on the bright side of life. So go ahead and hit that big red button and turn on post notifications while you're at it. All right, let's get started. The Internet. Let's start off with some tricks you can use whenever you experience problems while surfing the net. Number 1. If you've closed an important tab on accident, you can quickly reopen it by pressing the following keys simultaneously. Ctrl plus Shift plus T if you have Windows, or Command plus Shift plus T if you're on a Mac. Number 2. In case you've made a mistake while typing an address into the URL bar, you can restore the address of the current web page in the search field by hitting Escape. Number 3. Ever wish you could save a web page as a PDF? Did you even know you could do that? If not, you do now! If you're a Windows user, press Ctrl plus P and then choose Save as a PDF. As for Mac users, hit Command plus P, and then choose Save as a PDF in the drop-down menu. Tip number 4. If you need to find a specific book or website in Google, you can use the advanced search. Go to www.google.com. In the bottom right corner, you'll see a Settings button. Tap on it to access a drop-down menu, then choose Advanced Search. You can also type www.google.com slash advanced search in the address bar of your browser. As soon as the advanced search page comes up, apply all the filters you need, and then press the advanced search button. If you're looking for a certain book, you can even choose the file format you need, like PDF, DOC, RFT, or DJVU. Number 5. With the help of a simple combination of keys, you can find out the time in any city around the world. Just type time plus city into the search engine. Number 6. You can also easily and quickly find out what any amount of one currency would be in another. For example, you can type $900 in euros into the address bar, and Google will do the rest. <laughs> Who needs calculators, right? Number 7. Well, sure, calculators do come in handy from time to time, but instead of busting out your phone or an actual calculator – I know, so archaic – you can use Google for this as well. All you gotta do is type in whatever number – plus, minus, or whichever function you need – the other number, and then enter. Number 8. Since we're on the topic of having Google do all your heavy lifting for you, instead of going through all the trouble of typing in the URL of some online dictionary, thesaurus, or translator, just use the Google address bar. You can type in a word plus meaning, synonyms, or in Spanish, in French, or whichever translation you're looking for. Man, if Google could only do my taxes for me. <laughs> Social media. There are also plenty of little known tips and tricks when it comes to using some social media site or mobile app. Tip number 9. The 140 character limit in Twitter was always a bone of contention for tons of people. I mean, who on earth could fully express themselves in just two short sentences? That's why the app's creators decided to increase the character limit to 280. 
But if that's still not enough for you to say what you need to say, you can use apps like TweeShort, TwitLonger, or Tall Tweets. Number 10. Have you found a page on Facebook that you'd like to save and look at whenever you want? Well, you totally can. Just choose Save Link at the top of the page. To reopen it later, click on Saved in the menu. Number 11. If you need to send someone an email but you don't know their address, you can use Facebook. Well, as long as they have a Facebook account, but who doesn't nowadays, am I right? Anyway, you can send an email to their Facebook address with their username at facebook.com. The network will redirect this message to the email the person's account is registered with. Moving on to working with documents. Lots of people use their computer to work with documents. If you're one of them, here are some tips you'll be glad to know. Tip number 12. If you need to find a lost document, any other type of file, or even a program, press the following key combinations. Win plus R for Windows. You can click Browse or use the search bar and then Enter to find what you're looking for. Command plus Space Spotlight for Mac. Again, you can either enter your search request or pick the program you need. Number 13. If you want to change the font size in Word, simply press Ctrl plus Shift plus Greater Than to increase or Control shift less than to decrease the font size on a Windows machine. As for Mac, it'll be Command plus Shift plus greater than to make the font bigger and Command shift less than to make it smaller. Number 14. If you have an open file in Word, you can save it super fast by hitting Control plus S for Windows or Command plus S for Mac. Number 15. While working with documents on your computer, it's all too easy to accidentally make a mistake or press the wrong button. To avoid any dire consequences and to save time, just hit Ctrl plus Z for Windows or Command plus Z for Mac to undo the previous action. Number 16. If, on the contrary, you've understood that your previous action turned out to be surprisingly brilliant, yeah, that was you, you can always repeat it using Ctrl plus Y for Windows and Command plus Y on a Mac. Number 17. By the way, Google Docs is a great tool for those who work with texts a lot. There, all documents are automatically saved every second so you won't lose any unsaved work if your computer dies or crashes. Another cool thing about it is that you can edit your documents from any device. Just create an account, and you'll have access to all your files no matter where you are. To save your time and energy, you can memorize the most frequently used key combinations. Of course, they're different for Windows and Mac OS, so we've divided them into two groups. Shortcut keys for Windows. Windows key plus E will open Internet Explorer. Alt plus Tab will help you switch between programs. Control plus Shift plus Escape will open the Task Manager. Control plus Escape will bring up the Start menu. Alt plus F4 will close the current window or quit an active application. Alt plus Space will open the menu for the program you're currently using. Windows plus Tab will open Task View. Here's some shortcut keys for Mac OS. Command plus C will copy the text you've selected. Command plus V will paste this selected text wherever you need it. Command plus P will let you print the current document. Command plus M will minimize the front window to the dock. Command plus the semicolon will find misspelled words in your document. Option plus command plus escape lets you pick an application to force quit. Function plus the up arrow scrolls up one page. Function plus the down arrow allows you to get back to the previous page. Function plus the right arrow will take you to the beginning of the document. 
and function plus the left arrow will what? Yeah, send you to the end of the document. And here's a bonus! Number 18. If you need to locate a deleted page, or find out what a website used to look like, you can use the online time travel machine. Well, more specifically, this address for archive.org. There, you can enter the address of the deleted page in the search bar, and the site will find it even if it doesn't exist anymore. On top of that, this online archive serves as a non-profit library that contains millions of free movies, books, music, journals, and so much more. It's like a gold mine. So check it out! Number 19. Not to be morbid here, but sometimes people need to delete a Facebook account in the event of the user's death. Now to do that, they should go to Settings, pick General, then press Manage Account. After that, they'll need to click Your Legacy Contact and choose Request Account Deletion. Number 20. Have you noticed the little bumps on the F and J keys on your keyboard? If you haven't, just take a look or a feel. Huh, pretty random, right? Well, not really random. These bumps are there to help you position your hands on the keyboard correctly without looking. Your left index finger should be on the F key and your right one on the letter J if you want to practice touch typing. So there you have it! If you already use any of these tricks to save time when you're on the computer, great! Hit that like button to show the world how tech-savvy you are. Do the same if you believe that these life hacks will come in handy in the future. And if you know any tips we haven't mentioned, please leave them in the comments below. We're also thirsty for knowledge and time-saving techniques here on The Bright Side of Life.